Hey everybody, 42% health here. Welcome back to Skyrim. We're about to continue on in this main I quest. I love the cold there. It's Alfred. exhilarating. We heard the Dragon Ren shout from here. Blood, you defeated him? Yeah, pretty much. The old tales say that he is able to travel into Sovngarde to devour the souls of the dead. But they don't say how he does this. Yes, of course. But how to force a dragon to talk to you? There is one possibility, but... No, the Jarl would never agree. Do you know Dragon's Reach? The Jarl of Whiterun's palace? Yeah. Its name is no accident. The palace was originally built to hold a captive dragon. You might be able to trap him there, exactly. You'd require the Jarl's cooperation, of course. That might not be so easy to come by. Okay. You must trust in the rightness of your cause and the strength of your voice. Okay. Sky, guard you. Thanks. Okay, so it's actually a little tempting. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep pressing on. I'm gonna say it's tempting to go back into the game for a while after making some more progress here because now I've got the second part of my fire shout. And uh, they told us where we could find a word of power. So, let's see. West. We need to do this. second marker. There it is. Uh, so let's go to Dragon's Reach. What is it, Red God? <laughs> I'm going to talk to the Jarl. About important stuff. In honor of your service in battle, I am hereby granting you permission to purchase property in Whiterun. Talk to my steward if you're interested. I've already got property in Whiterun. Is there more property in Whiterun? Uh... There is room in my court for a new thane. However, I could only you help my people purchase a house from my steward, and I'll make you my thane. As you were, then. What, really? I've already assisted the people of Whiterun. I've already purchased a house. Yay! Then <laughs> by my right as Jarl, I'm I'll already a thane. Yep. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Blade of Whiterun. All right. I want them to think you're part of the common rabble now. I must have misheard you. <laughs> I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't joking. What you're asking for is insane. Impossible. Why would I agree to let a dragon into the heart of my city after working so hard to keep them out? Alduin has returned. Alduin? The world eater himself. But 
How can we fight him? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? You've been defeated before. I don't know about such things. But I heard the Greybeard summon you. That's good enough for me. Now what's this nonsense about trapping easy. a dragon in my palace? Then White Run will stand with you, Dragonborn. We will take the risk and gain the glory, whether it be in victory or defeat. So what's the plan then? How do you intend to lure a dragon into the trap? Um, I don't know. Oh. Well, I'll leave that to you. I trust you know your business. Probably for the best. It will give me time to see if that old trap still works. And break the news to the men. Mm, yep, better do that. I'm I don't talking care about anyway. politics. <laughs> done talking anyway. Uh, you, buy stuff is one of the from most me. Come to Dragon's Reach to this. Take a look. I think they're wrong. It's magnificent, and I'm proud to call it home. Dang. You know, if you've long. got the aptitude, you should join the Mage's College of Winterhold. This <laughs> best offense is a good defense. <laughs> I'm telling you, I heard it. Howling. It was werewolf tip. True. So let's, uh. Boing. 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 It's long winter. I breathe now. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Annoying as I'll get out. Hands only. Let's see here. I have a letter here from Quintus Navale in Windhelm. He said it was urgent. A letter? Not sure who from. He wouldn't say, just that he was a friend of yours. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Is that, is that a dragon? Dang it. Nope. Sorry. Uh, let's read this letter. Because that's what we do when dragons attack. Letter from... Quintus, somebody? Oh, it's that guy. Okay, whatever. Nothing. Wow. Divine smile, resting. Come on, dragon. Are you going to attack the city or not? Or do you expect you not? You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. If he was really going to attack the city, all these people would be worried. Let me know if you see anything you like. I work for Bella. Imperials. Take a look. Weigh a half a thing each. These necklaces weigh a half a thing each. to these. So let's uh 
go do this? Of course it's on top of a mountain. Okay, let's hope there's a way up this mountain. It's not too hard to find. close to the end of the game, me thinks. But my next playthrough, I am definitely going to do more of this quest line before moving on with the rest of the game, because, because I want that fire shout. Get up this mountain. This looks promising. Totally looks like a path up the mountain. <laughs> why, game? Why? just right there.
this one a road? Probably not. to get here. I started here and we've worked our way basically this far around the mountain. Maybe it's easier coming from that way. Labyrinthian. Still never found that. Still never explored that place. Probably the road because it has a cross roll on it. and disappointment. <sighs> Is this a road? Please be a road.
No. Oh boy. Um. Perfect. This arm. I need to go back to these guys, but first I might just come home and dump off all my junk. Well, there you are. Daedra hearts. Where in the world do I get those? Uh, I remember one place, I guess. I do remember one place where I can get Daedra hearts. But I also need ebony ingots. You know what? I don't care. I'm just going to drop all my stuff here. I'm itching for a fight. No problem. I can carry a good bit of gear. You don't seem All to be set. able to carry Let's that go. much. I mean, it felt like it was a lot before, but... Game. One of the Daedric altars we were at, where the guy summoned those devil dudes, was... Let's see if we can find that place. It's one of these Daedric shrines. It wasn't that one. And it wasn't that one. It wasn't that one. I kind of want my next set of armor. Oh, or I could go there. Oh, okay, I could go to either place. Okay, where are these 
Daedric Shrines. I think it was this one. So how many hearts do I need? Cool. We get a couple of They're probably wearing the Daedric heart. No! Don't go down there, I need your heart. Oh boy. Should be hopefully a few corpses around here from before. There don't appear to be corpses from before. Oh well, I've got two. I'd like at least five so I can make four pieces huh? of armor and a greatsword. I, I've been here though. I'm sure I have. Ebony, yes, I want the ebony. Daedra hearts. And some ebony. Hmm. Well, profitable enough, I guess. Daedra heart and as much ebony as I could carry. <laughs> I know I've seen those Daedra hearts around though, so let's work on crafting some junk, maybe. Daedric. Oh, wow, that's five ingots. 
People say Skyrim is one of the most dangerous places in Start Camryan. with the great sword, I guess. I think they're wrong. It's magnificent. Yeah, just the armor. I'm proud to call it home. Yeah, I need more ebony stuff. I need more ebony ingots. Let's start with a great sword. leather too. All the rest of our crafting stuff away. We'll wait till we have enough to make a complete set because of that perk. Hang on. Daedric Greatsword, 128. That's plus 8 damage. Our Ebony is 120. Yeah. Nice. got plenty of uh, dragon bones now. I might just quit collecting them. Right at 200. Well, that's good enough. Let's take a look at our new toy. We need to favorite that. We need to call it one. No, that's my... That's still my ebony sword. Hang on. Yeah, it looks pretty dorky. But it does better damage, so... I'm not gonna complain. Oh, I'll be able to actually get quite a bit of carry weight back once I put this away. 22, yeah. Okay, let's proceed with this game now. There's a shack, like, right out here. Let's go meet our neighbors. Speaking of proceed with this game, let's get distracted some more. Pine watch. In. Okay. Let's go talk to these people. The Greybeards kind of drive me nuts with all their pacifism. If you know what I mean. Where am 
I supposed to go to talk to this guy? I've seen enough death to last three nights. Out here, I guess. Where are y'all up to? Dream. In the dream, I was standing someplace high up, a tower or a mountain. It was always just before dawn. The whole world was in darkness. Then came the flash of light just on the horizon, and in the clouds that marked the border between worlds. It could have been lightning, but there was no thunder. In the dream, the sense of foreboding grew, but I could never wake up. Then it came again, this time more distinct, closer. Definitely not lightning. Now it was orange, brilliant orange. The color of hearth and dawn. And a sound, too, distinct and indistinct. Not thunder, something else. Something uh, I should recognize, but in the dream I cannot place it. I want to leave my high place to seek shelter from what I have. Manner of dreams I cannot escape. I'm forced to wait to watch. Then, finally, realization and horror arrive together. The orange is flame, heat. The sound, the roar, a challenge in their ancient tongue. But now it's too late for escape. The dragon is upon me. Fire, darkness descending like a thunderbolt. And not just any dragon. But the dragon, Aldred, the world eater, the dragon who devours both the living and the dead. And then I would wake up and hope that it was just a dream. But know that it was not. There's one more thing we know about Parthenax. You know what? Parthenax, the dragon that the Greybeards have been protecting for all these years. He needs to die. He deserves to die. Oh. And it falls to you to kill him. Until he's did. dead. Well, I'm sorry, but we would dishonor our oaths as blades if we continue to help you. <laughs> Have you decided to do the right thing, Dragonborn? <laughs> yeah, I he's knew dead. we could count on you. Glad to have you back on our side. The Thalmor hunted us down, remember? It wasn't exactly great for recruitment. But we have a headquarters of a sort now. We will rebuild the blades. Someday. If you find anyone you think would make a good recruit, I can certainly take a look at them. Remember, though, being a blade is a lifelong commitment. Their loyalty has to be with us once they're in. Okay. Well, I've got a whole bunch of, um, I've got a whole bunch of, uh, what are they called? House Carls. I could probably spare a few. Hey, did you say something? Uh, I need a way to lure a dragon to dragon trees. Hmm, yes. I've been poring over the records here in Skyhaven Temple. An unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing is that the Are blades you? recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Alduin has raised up. Oh uh, yeah, how's that help? Uh, don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power, shouts, by calling the dragon with the voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. Oh. He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Oh, convenient. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon after your victory over Aldred. I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. So... If, dra if Alduin's like the super dragon, and they all know it, and I defeated Alduin, 
why did they why would they think they have a chance to beat me ah indeed i'm no master of the voice but it is written here in the scroll oda vin winged snow hunter as i read it Okay. Let's go. This game has the best music ever. We're right at 42 minutes. Let's go back to Whiterun. Wherever that might be. You guys ready to catch a dragon? You will, Azurus. <laughs> You're gonna catch a dragon. Disrespect the law, and you disrespect me. We're ready, Dragonborn. Just say the word. Are you ready? As I promised, my men stand ready. The great chains are oiled. We wait on your word. I really oh, I've got the word. My men know what to do. Make sure you do your part. I'm putting my city in your hands. Okay. So I need to call. I need to go back out here, I guess. I'm not stealing, but I don't need the gold. <laughs> You do have a plan for luring a dragon here, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I do. We're ready when you are. Okay. Call dragon. And then I want to switch to dragon rend afterwards. Oh, Did it. I feel like I'm gonna want this. Whoa! Sorry, guard. Mercy! <laughs> that was a little unexpected. Alduin, hmm? no doubt you want to know where to find Alduin. Yep, that's that's it. Renik Vaza, an apt phrase. Alduin Boval. One reason I came to your call was to test your thorn for myself. Many of us have begun to question Alduin's lordship. 
whether his Thuum was truly the strongest. Among ourselves, of course, Muni Mae, none were yet ready to openly defy him. Okay. Once Lord Croesus, innumerable pardons, I digress. He has traveled to Sovngarde to regain his strength, devouring the Silesure, the souls of the mortal dead, a privilege he jealously guards. His door to Sovngarde is at Skaldafin, one of his ancient fanes high in the eastern mountains. Mindoran pa ok midoven avarantil. I surely do not need to warn you that all his remaining strength is marshaled there. Zuulost ofan hinlan. Now that I have answered your question, you will allow me to go free? Um, serve you? No. Need id. If and when you defeat Alduin, I will reconsider. Hmm, Croesus. There is one detail about Skaldafen I neglected to mention. What is it? Only this. You have the Thurm of Adova. Oh. But without the wings of one, you will never set foot in Skaldafen. Oh, I got the... hang on. Of course. Right. I could fly you there. There we go. But not while imprisoned like this. Onikan Korav Gaim Mirad. It is wise to recognize when you only have one choice. Yeah, I don't know if I only and had you one. You can but... trust me. Zuni Tarudis. Alduin has proven himself unworthy to rule. I go my own way now. Interesting. Free me, and I will carry you to Skaldafin. Okay. Maybe we need to go up. A captive dragon. Just think of the possibility. Spells and incantations for the I don't think I have anything to sell anymore. I've always adventured on my own terms. Yeah. Nope. You know, if you've got the aptitude, you should join them. I'm still amazed that your plan worked. I'm done yeah, talking long, anyway. I've waited for such an opportunity. I would be most appreciative if you would permit me to perform some uh, tests on you, purely um, in the interests of the advancement of knowledge. That might be a bad be idea. Be gone, mage. Do not test my promise to the Dovahkiin. I assure you, you will not even notice. It. Most of them are hardly painful at all to a large dragon such as yourself. <laughs> Uh, that's a bad idea, dude. We better hide. But I want to watch. To me, what are you doing back there? Just better run your little tail back to your office. I can't believe that worked. You sure about that? You want to let that dragon loose after all the trouble to catch him in there? Wasn't that much trouble. We only lost one guard. Your funeral. Someone else is gonna have to help you get him back in there again. Yeah. Get ready to open the trap. This seems like a really bad idea. It kind of seems like a bad idea to me, too. This is all part of the Dragonborn's plan. Fast you. We need thine roof, we ask for. Are you 
ready to see the world as only Andova can? That sounds like a real good time. Are you ready yes. to see the world as only Andova can? Do we need to be out here to have this conversation? Are you done walking now? Saran Uth, I await your command as promised. Are you ready to see the world as only a Dova can? I am indeed. Look at that lady pushing the dragon around. So great off. I warn you, once you've flown the skies of Kaizal, <laughs> your envy of the Dove will only increase. I do not doubt it. Amativ. Wahoo. <laughs> uh, and I don't really get to see the world as only a Dova can, of course. I just get to watch myself fly away. Okay. Um, I'm gonna have to call it a video here. Oh, and we don't get Mule for this? Aww. Poor Mule, he misses out on all the fun. Okay. Oh, this is so good. This is so epic. Alright, I'm gonna have to call it here, though. And I will see you guys in my next video. Which, depending on what time it is... Yeah, I can probably record one more in this sitting. All right. See ya. Bye for now. Catch you later.